All right, so now let's try to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. Um, suppose we have something like five five n squared plus twenty one n plus twenty one n and minus twenty equals to zero. And we're going to do this by factoring. Clearly, you can't divide everything by 5 because uh, 21 does not divide by 5. But what we're going to do is the following. This is a little trick that I learned somewhere along the way. Is you multiply these two coefficients, uh, 5 times negative 20, which gives us uh, negative 1 hundred and the middle coefficient is 21 now the key here is to find the factors of um, 100 so that will add up to 21 algebraically so suppose we have let's see 1 and 100 uh, 2 and 50 that doesn't work um, 4 and 25. Now, there is one more, 5 and 20, but clearly you can probably see that 4 and 25 are going to give me 21. Now, if I put 4 here and I put 25 there, how can I get 21 out of that? Well, if I subtract 4 from 25, that gives me 21 so I'm gonna have to put a minus sign right here and then I can actually put my factors in so this is gonna be n minus 4 multiply that by n plus 25 notice that all I did was copy these coefficients into here keeping the signs they have already now if you were to multiply this out this probably will not give you this however because I multiply by 5, which is a trick that we do, 5 times negative 20 gives us uh, minus 100. If I divide this coefficient here and there by 5, like so, clearly you can see that 5 doesn't go into 4. But all I got to do now is just multiply this in front of the n right there, and that will give us. 5n minus 4 and this will give this will reduce so this was gives us n plus 5 and everything is still equal to 0 uh, the question is does this give us the original so uh, the original problem and let's see 5 times n is 5n squared 5 times 5 is 25n Take away 4 times n, that gives us 21n, and then minus 4 times 5 is minus 20, which works. Now, we still have to solve the equation, so we need to use the zero product rule, letting this equal to zero. In other words, for which value of n will this give me a zero inside this parentheses? So we set that equal to zero, doing 5n minus 4. 4 equal to 0 and similarly n plus 5 equals 0 and then clearly this becomes 5n equals to 4 or n is 4 fifths one solution and this one is easy you just subtract 5 from both sides giving us n is equal to negative 5 and we have two solutions for this quadratic equation I hope that helps